many of us create our next best life from the learnings and the experiences that that we go through and i think it is so valuable how transparent you are in your story because you not only are trained and and educated you know in the field of psychology but you walk the walk you talk the talk yeah. and when we're transparent with our audiences and sharing that information i think it helps them to not feel so alone and to just be okay with it's hard, it's hard work and moving forward takes effort and it's challenging. So how did you even start the process of what was that one step forward? Yeah. Well, I want to first say I had so much shame. Here I am sure. a professional where I'm spending all day, every day, helping other people with their problems. And I can't get in my mind, like my shit together. I can't, I can't, I was very codependent. So I can't like fix my ex-husband. I can't make him better. What is wrong with me? So I had so much shame that I had to heal. Actually, that was a big piece of it. And once I was able to, what happened for me really where I decided the course of my healing was when I was in the playground with a bunch of parents and I was telling another war story about what my ex-husband did. And tr trust me, there were plenty mm -hmm. and they were listening as if like they, sh they weren't, but they could have been like eating popcorn. They were so enthralled in the story. And after I told the story, I stopped and thought, okay, they were so in entertained, but ouch, that was me talking about something I went through that was really painful. And am I going to spend the rest of my life telling these stories? Or am I going to stop and figure out how the hell did I become a character in the story? What is my role here? And in that instance, I thought, that's it. I'm not taking his inventory anymore. I'm not telling his stories. I'm figuring out how did I get here? And even that, so I wonder, I'm sure, Wendy, you can relate to this in your story. Like that moment when the focus went off of him and went on to me, was the, even though it was about to get really dirty and I was gonna have to look at a lot of disgusting shit inside, I felt like I had some control over something. So I felt so much better. I was ready to roll, even if it was gonna be hard. 